Hello community, so great that you are back. We have a new Gemini 3 Pro and you know what? It was syncing for 127 seconds and you might say amazing can we know more about Gemini 3 Pro like here the official Google documentation? No we are not interested in this. Or say can we have a look how it compares to GBD 5.1 or how much better it is than Gemini 2.5 Pro? No not interested in some external benchmark. And you might say, hey, what about Gemini 3 Deep Sinking, the extreme model? Look, it outperforms everything on this planet. No, not interested. And you say, what about an independent benchmark? AGI 2 leaderboard. Look, Gemini 3 Pro outperforms Grok V, Cloud Sauna, GBT5, everything. And Gemini 3 Deep Sinking is even at 45% AGI 2? Come on, who is interested in this? If we can do our own testing, look at this. There are some logical here dependencies that are really strange to guess. And you might say, what, this is it for an advanced AI system? No, of course not. I have additional complexity clues. And if I have this operational, yes, then it took Gemini 3 Pro 127 seconds. Do you want to see it? A live recording? Okay, here we go. Hello community, we have again Gemini 3 Pro preview, beautiful system instruction zero, no API key, temperature a little bit increased to 1.1, sinking level is of course high, and let's have here a simple task, I have here an old reasoning test, and I'm just interesting how it will perform now. It is sinking, okay, I don't see any sinking traces, what a pity. Maybe at the end I will see some sinking expand to view. My goodness, yeah, there it is. Yes, connecting the dots, assigning the artifact. I've made a breakthrough. Oh, it is not a real sinking trace. It is just a summary. I finally assigned this, a resolving the final assignment, prioritizing the remaining deductions. The complexity constraints are now evaluated and now calculating the wizard complexity itself. Reassessing the remaining variables. Okay, you go step by step, confirming here the final assessments, verifying here the rank consistency, evaluating here the attribute consistency, confirming the final structure, refining here the rank order. We are 50 seconds in, ladies and gentlemen. Evaluating the hidden constraints. Yes, yes, do it. Yeah, okay, 55 seconds. Can we have one minute thinking? Come on, evaluating the final constraint. Focusing again, refining a complexity scale. Yeah, it's a little bit more complex than you thought. 66 seconds. Refining the attribution. Final field assignment, 70 seconds in. Come on, can we do it? Yes, I'm re revisiting the crucial field and familiar assignment after re-evaluating the clues. I'm confirming the final structure. I'm validating the complexity scales. It's repeating itself. It's repeating itself. The field associations. Yes, evaluating the field assignments. We are 90 seconds in, ladies and gentlemen, and it still has not found a solution. One of the most complex topics that I have here. And will it? 100 seconds. My goodness, 100 seconds and it's still sinking. Okay, refining the framework. Revisiting everything. Refining here everything. Re-examining. Verifying the final logic. I'm deep into the final logic review. Yes, do it. Here we have it, the result. Phase one. Deducting, deducting, explanation, current snapshot, phase two, a logic check, okay, phase three, solving this, phase four, the final semantic deduction, okay, we have a solution table. Holy cow, this is a correct solution table. 127 seconds it took here our Gemini 3 Pro. Crystal of time, yeah, that looks absolutely, uh, I know this now by heart, I've done this now longer than a year. Yeah, lowest, mid, high, low. <laughs> but you know, we, we are not satisfied. No, we are not satisfied. We are saying, hey. And we are saying, hey, verify your results. Is there maybe another valid solution? And you know exactly that there is another solution. But we are not going to tell Gemini 3 Pro. So let's have a look. Thinking, everybody is thinking. Okay, that's good. Oh, yeah, we want to see the thinking trace. We want to see this. Finalizing the complexity for Galore, establishing the community field pairs, evaluating Brindor's role, okay. Resolving the constraint, yeah, you're missing the word, you're just repeating yourself. Come on, show me your real traces, not those dummy traces. Oh, come on, what a pity that I don't see the real reasoning traces. I would love this, so therefore we need open source projects. 
Pinpointing here the valence attribute, okay. Solidifying here the solution uniqueness. What a beautiful salad of words. And here we have it, 50 seconds in. Yeah, there's a second solution. Wow, summary of changes. Both the solution are provided first, and this alternative solution satisfies every written constraint on a perk prompt perfectly. Interpretation one. Yeah. Lies. Yeah, there is an internal degree of freedom. We swap Eldorian Brindo. Yeah, absolutely correct. My goodness, come on. It's it solved this also immediately. Okay, I have to work on much, much heavier uh, puzzles, logic puzzles, because this just took, how long does it took? 50 seconds. Okay, it took 50 seconds. Okay, at least 50 seconds on thinking level high. No API key to unlock higher quota and more features. My goodness, what would be a new feature? But you know what? I'm absolutely happy. I mean, the level that we have right now is absolutely impressive. Yeah, just short to interrupt. By the way, if you want to compare this to my video here from months ago, this is here Opus 4, from Claude Opus 4, and you see it achieved the exact same configuration, but it failed completely at the complexity levels. So please compare this line by line now with the solution 1 that we received here by Gemini 3 Pro, and you will see they are absolutely identical. So this is a significant jump now here from Opus 4. I say, okay, find an alternative path to evaluate both solutions from a different perspective or a different approach. Show me a different mathematical thing. Show me how intelligent you are. Gemini 3 Pro, I have to get familiar to the name Gemini 3 Pro preview. Yes, I want to see your thinking. Complexity relationship, potential uh, magical type and complexity, diving into the semantic best fit analysis. Boring. Just a clue 10. Still in a linear mode. Ah, oh, come on. I'm now focusing on a critical decision. Assigning here this, okay. Prioritizing familiar relationship, connecting abstract concepts. Yes, finalizing thematic path. 35 seconds. And tells me to evaluate from different, we must go beyond bool and logic and use thematic analysis and complexity hierarchy. When logic grids leave ambiguity, the intended solution is often resolved by the best fit, okay. Relation to floating candidates use this new approach. Okay, he picked two candidates. Okay, I go with this. Yeah, let's assume here this is, and if it makes thematic sense. Okay, this favors artifact semantic. Pair the artifact's name with the fields. Okay, a linear sequence. Subversion clue. Yes, yes, perspective unknown. Final conclusion. The first solution valid. The thematic analysis strongly points to the second solution as the intended one. The superior alignment, my goodness, Brindor. Okay, uh, the revised bad fit solution table is now this one. Dorn, Riff, Hi, yeah. Galore, Brindor, Divination, Salmon, Dragon, Amulets of Dreams, Crystal of Time, Judgment, Logic, beautiful. By the way, if you want to see the real heavy logic test, this is here the video just about two, three hours ago that I did. If you really want to see the hardworking stuff here, this is the video for you. But I can tell you, it is just a beast. Okay, even the second test for Gemini 3 Pro preview showed this is a real powerful model. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a little bit of fun. I definitely did. I hope to see you in my next video.